Hi everyone, David here from DavidDumeAudio.com and in this video I want to show you guys my step-by-step -step process for uploading my sound packs onto the Unreal Game Engine. All right, so the first thing you'll want to do is to download the Unreal uh, Engine onto your computer if you haven't done so already. You can just go to unrealengine.com and there's a download button at the top right and just download it onto your computer. And once it's ready, you can install it, open it up and what you want to do is click on New Project and then you'll go uh, no starter content. So you can choose to have starter content or no starter content. For sound packs, uh, just do no starter content. And then here I'm just gonna do, uh, whoops. There you go, so it hits. And then create the project. All right, once we're in the game engine, you'll wanna click on this little icon here, which will open up this tab. And these are your folders for the project. So right in here, you'll want to create a new folder, and in this folder, you'll create, you'll um, you'll place the name of your of your sound pack. So whatever your sound pack's name is, whatever you want to call it, this is what you put it here. So for me, I'm just gonna. This is not a real sound pack I'm working on. It's just for this uh, tutorial. So I'm just gonna say Sword Hits Sound Pack. And now, if we open it up within the sound pack, now you want to create a wave folder and a cues folder. All right, so for the next step is to just drag and drop um, your sound pack into, um, into the Unreal Engine here. So I'm just going to grab all my sounds here. I'm just copying them all and I'm just going to paste them right into the uh, WAV file. Actually, what I'm going to do here is, what I'm going to do here, I'm just bringing in two folders so you guys can see what that looks like. So yeah, there you go. It, it brings in the folders exactly how I had them. So session one and session two of my sword hits. And then if you press control shift S, it's going to save them. And that's it. All right, the next thing you're going to want to do is to go into your filters here. And what I do is I create two filters uh, for my sound. So you go down here to sounds. I do a filter from the wave, sound wave, and then a filter for the sound cue. And then now you'll see these filters are showing up right here at the top, uh, right under the filters tab. And now I can uh, switch between the two. So if I just click on the sound waves, it's just gonna show the wave files. If I undo that and I just click on the sound cues, it's just gonna show the cues, which obviously you can see there's no cues right now. So that's the next thing I do. All right, the next step is I do, I kind of repeat this and I drag my files into the cues folder this time. So I'm just gonna grab those two uh, folders that I had dragged in before and I'm putting them right into my cues. So it looks exactly the same. And now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click on my cues. I'm gonna click on the sound wave filter. I'm gonna control them all and I'm just gonna delete them. And press delete. And the reason I do this is because when you have a large uh, folder structure, it's a pain in the butt to just go through each folder one at a time and delete everything. If you just go to the to the top folder, uh, so this one is the cues, and then you just search for all the sound waves, and then you can just control and delete them all. If you just have one folder, that's not a big deal. You just go in and control control alt and uh, sorry control all and then delete them all that way. But um, it's just a, a nice thing to have. This is what I normally do um, this way. All right, so for the next step, I go back into my Waves folder here, and I click on the topmost folder, which is up here, and I control all the WAV files, so I make sure I have all of them, and I press Create Queue. And you can save if you want. And now I have all of the cues and the waves in here. So now what I'm going to do is I go in, into each individual folder, and I'm going to um, switch over the cues into the cues folder. So I'm going to start up here, Session 1, Oh, and I select the filter so I only see the cues, sound cues, and now I can drag them all, select all, control A, and drag them all into session one under the my cues folder. And I press move here. And I do the same thing with session two. Now what you'll see is in my WAV uh, folder here, I only have WAV files, no cues. And if I look in my cues folder, I only have cues and no WAV files. And now these, they should be identical. So I should have 122 items in my session one, 122 items in my session one. Here I have 12 in session two and 12 in session two. And now you can see that I have 
all my sounds lined up with the cues and the wave files exactly how they're supposed to be matched up. And if you want to make sure that they're working, you can double click on it and you can see here that the output's there. And so you know it's going to work and you can press the space bar to hear it play. Or you can just play the play note up here. All right, so for the next step is I right click on the master folder, so the folder of my entire sound pack. I right click, and you go down to fix up redirectors and folder and just click that. And the next thing you can do is you can go into the file, package project, zip up project. Now here it's gonna ask you to put it into a uh, folder, so I'm just gonna leave it here for now and just press save. All right, so for the next step, you either want to open up uh, Google Drive or Dropbox. Uh, and I usually create a new folder and I name it the name of my sound pack. So for this one, I just said test sound pack just because I'm doing this tutorial, but normally it would be the title of my sound pack. And then you go and find the project that you just exported uh, in the file where, where you had exported it. So it will be a .u project file. So for me, it's called swordhits.u project. And I just drag it and drop it into here and you want to let it upload. And there you go, it's done. All right, your next step is gonna to be to sign into the Unreal Engine game account. So you just go on the website and sign in. You can see I did that here. You can go to seller, add product. There you go. Here's where you would upload your image. I don't have my images, any images created because I'm just doing a test sound pack, but this is where you would put in your images right here. You can put the product title here. Choose your price, the category, you'll put in the sound effects and tags. This can be anything like sword, hits, oops, hits, weapon, melee, and etc. You can keep on adding tags. Here's where you put a short description. I normally just put one or two sentences kind of quickly describing what the product is and yeah, just a really quick thing there. Here's where I put a longer description, kind of saying, um, uh, kind of repeating the short description, what the product is, uh, who it's who it's best for, uh, who I had in mind when I was creating it, and what its what its use would be for. And here I put in um, any of the technical information, how many wave files, cues, uh, sample rate. Ex pretty much, you fill in the exact information that they provide here. The next thing you want to do down here is you create new version. Your version title. So normally I'll just say sword hits like that, and I might might put a one or zero one, something like that. And now for the project file link, this is where you will want to put in a link to the project you uploaded onto your Google Drive or onto your um, Dropbox. So you can just right click, click get a shareable link. You can turn it on. There you go. Now you want to share the link. I, I'm copying the link right here. This is the link to my project um, file. And I just paste it right into there. And that's it. For the uh, supported engines, I just click the engine that I created it in. So right now it's uh, 4.23, I think it is. For the platform, I usually click all of them. Because audio and sound effects are good and usable on all platforms. Version notes, I usually keep that blank because I don't have any notes for that. And I put asset pack. And that's it. And then once this is all there, it's ready for submission. And I just press submit for approval. All right, so that's it. Those those are my steps, That it, the exact steps I take whenever I'm uploading uh, my sound packs onto the Unreal Game Engine. Uh, normally, when I, once you do press submit and you submit it to them, it usually takes about two weeks for them to get back to you. Sometimes a bit, a bit less, maybe a bit more. Depends on how busy they are. And yeah, normally they get back and then you either they'll send you the, the fixes that you need to make if, if there's anything wrong with a sound pack or the audio or anything. And they'll give you like a, an Excel sheet and then they'll say exactly what to fix. And then you just go and fix it and then you can resubmit. And then once it's approved, it'll be um, posted on their website and you can sell your stuff like that. So um, yeah, that's it for this. Uh, I'll include in the description a graphics that, that uh, Unreal has actually sent me um, to upload... Um, 
on your sound packs onto their engine. So it, it's a, it's basically what I talked about in this video, except it's all in graphics form and you have each step uh, laid out. So I'll put a link to that in the description. And also, um, I'm working on a course right now going over exactly how I create and earn an income for myself selling sound packs and doing sound design from home. So if that's interest you guys, um, let me know because I'm in the process of creating the course right now. I kind of want to know if this is something that is interesting to you guys who are watching this video. Would this be something that you would want to uh, learn about how exactly how to curate income, passive income? And if it is, uh, like tell me in the description, in the description first or, or in the comments, sorry, first of all, tell me if you're interested. And then also let me know like what you want to learn about. What else is interesting for you? So um, yeah, let me know in the comments. And I think that's it for this video. And uh, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.